In this video I'm going to explain how I put Linux Mint 18.2 MATE, the 64-bit ISO, on a USB stick connected to the MacBook Air. With the help of two sources, one being an article by MacJustin, uh, who in detail explains how to put this on a stick and with the help of a YouTube video by Edwin Pagan called How to Create Bootable Linux USB Drive for the Mac. After having downloaded a little utility Mac Linux USB loader, which costs a mere $4.5, I managed to install the Linux Mint on the stick. After switching the computer off and rebooting the MacBook Air holding down the Alt key you can then boot into the USB in this case Linux Mint. The Wi-Fi module did not work offhand um, and that's why I installed it first on another Macintosh which was connected via an Ethernet cable to the Internet. A uh, bit of poking around, however, helped me find. Uh, that's the wrong one. Help me find an article on YouTube, which shows you how to go about uh, activating the Wi-Fi module. You go to Control Center. You locate the Driver Manager. The Driver Manager then shows that there's a couple of wireless network adapters. Uh, that had not been used on this device and activating this in this option here and I don't know what this one does but I activated it anyways I installed it um, I applied the changes and then uh, right offhand on the very bottom when you click on the icon uh, for the network the Wi-Fi network becomes available and can be switched on in the usual way. I then installed uh, the BART um, soft, uh, simple screen recorder. Make sure to use Ubuntu Linux Mint and these three options. Um, it then downloads the PPA and after quite a bit of installing, uh, the simple screen recorder became available. In order to play back the recorded videos, um, I installed the VLC player. The VLC player can be easily installed via the software manager and then the audio codec codecs are made available to play back the recorded video. Uh, incidentally, I also got the Bluetooth uh, to work. Bluetooth JBL E5OBT uh, headphones are working on the MacBook Air and finally the only problem is that the hard disks um, from the MacBook Air itself and the additional USB hard disk that's attached to the MacBook Air are read only. And that's the end of the recording.